guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I have stopped in and said hello. I've been working on a few things. I signed a book deal and I'm actually creating a watercolor book. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice that pretty much my whole feed has turned into artwork and different paintings. Uh, that's really just because that's all I've been doing lately. I also had an idea that I kind of want to implement here as well. And that is going to be, every time I post a watercolor video, I want you guys to leave me a comment and let me know what you want me to paint next, what you want a tutorial on, and if I choose your idea or your comment, I will paint that for my next video and I will actually mail you the painting that I have completed. So if you would like to get yourself an original painting by me, leave a comment below and let me know what you want me to paint next and what you want the new, the newest tutorial to be on this channel. After each video that I do, I'm going to look through the comments and I'm going to choose one and I will DM that person um, to get in touch with them. So I just thought that would be something fun that we could do. Uh, it kind of gets you guys involved and it gives me some inspiration for new videos as well. So until then, I hope you guys enjoy this new video. We're going to be creating some different kinds of like weeds and greenery that you can use in different kinds of paintings. Uh, these are just very simple. I'm just going to show you the basic shapes and how I kind of use my brush to create them. They can obviously be improved, spruced up a little bit, use different colors, however you like. So keep on watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out and leave those comments below. I can't wait to hear from you guys. So the first one is going to be very simple. I'm starting by just creating a stem and then I'm creating these little teardrop shaped leaves. Second one is going to be slightly different. I'm just creating smaller stems coming off of the main stem with a couple little teardrop shapes coming off of those. For the next one, I created a stem and then I created different little twig-like branches coming off of it. And then all I'm doing here is filling in some of the tops of the branches with little dots of colored paint. I'm just using a number six round pointed brush for this. I'll leave all the tools I used below in the description box, so be sure to check those out. This next one, I'm doing a larger stem and I'm using the tip of my brush and I'm pressing down as I get towards the center stem. This next one, I'm gonna create a variety of stems kind of coming out of the center and I'm just going to create rounder teardrop shapes going down each stem and then finishing it off with a color to add a little floral detail. Now I'm just gonna show you a couple of little leaves that I like to use in a lot of my artwork. Very simple, I'm just starting at the bottom and drawing a stem upwards and then again using those teardrop shapes to form the leaves. Right here I'm gonna to start to create a couple of different branches or leaves and I'm gonna kind of do the leaves in different directions very sporadically and I'm leaving the tops empty because I'm going to be adding little flowers and little flower buds to the ends. This one is sort of the same. I did the stem and the leaves and I'm just going in and adding some flowers to the top. My camera actually cut out for this one so I apologize. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. These ones are so simple. These are like fern leaves. You can also do the same technique for uh, spruce leaves. This one here is going to have longer leaves and they're going to kind of bend and kind of contort a little bit. This next one, I'm gonna do larger, rounder leaves. These ones are gonna be facing upwards a little more than the others, and just keep in mind the roundness of them. You can add some behind, so it looks like they're kind of peeking through. This one here, I'm just doing a small little branch and then I'm just adding on some larger sort of bent teardrop shaped leaves to it. And then this one is one of my favorites. I'm doing large, long leaves. I'm just using the tip of my brush again, pressing down where I want it to be thicker and then finishing it off with a thin tip again. Here I did kind of a squiggly line and 
these leaves, I'm going to leave a little bit of a white space in the center just to kind of give it a little bit of a highlight. And here are the finished fern leaves, branches, whatever you want to call them. I hope you guys liked this. And finally, I wanted to let you guys know about my watercolor workshop. I feel like a broken record, but I want to let you know that I have added a trial membership for those of you who are a little bit afraid of commitment, shall I say. Um, so it'll give you 10 videos to start, and from there you can kind of decide if you want to continue on. I think you will, because I think you will love it. Most of the tutorials on my YouTube channel um, they're not as in-depth as the ones that are actually on my watercolor workshop. Those tutorials are going to be the ones that you'll actually see me step by step showing you, telling you what to do every step of the way, um, which is why some of the YouTube videos and the content I have here is a little bit sped up, it's a little faster. So that's kind of why I have the members only site, which I will link right here. You can check it out. I would love, love, love to have you. If you complete this, do tag me on Instagram so that I can see my handle is right here. See you guys.